So now I've got this uh, development board from Atmel. It's the STK500. And I have uh, a chip that I intend to use for the picker pointer. This is an 18 mega 16. Uh, it's capable of running up to 16 megahertz. I have it configured for 8 megahertz now. Uh, so I'm just getting to use it. Uh, for the first time today, I uh, just ported the Blinky project that I modified for the butterfly. Uh, as you can see, it's much easier to set up everything. It's got on board LEDs and switches. Uh, makes it much easier to debug. Uh, it's also got the uh, onboard uh, RS232 connectors which I will use to drive the LCD display which probably should arrive today so hopefully I can make some tests on that. Uh, so next step is to make the Traverse, the hardcoded Traverse run on this thing. So now I got the Traverse uh, program ported to the STK500 with the uh, 18 mega 16 microcontroller. Uh, right now I have it hooked up for the uh, integrated switches and LEDs. Uh, I'm going to show you that before I actually connect it to the stepper driver. So as you can see, um, this is the uh, uh, driver enable uh, LED. When this is on, all the stepper uh, windings are on, which means I cannot move it manually. Uh, this is the step uh, indicator. Uh, it's going too fast so you cannot see it blinking, but it actually is blinking. And this one that you do see blinking, that's the direction change. Uh, I also uh, added code to make this switch stop. It also turns off all the windings so that you can move the stepper manually. This switch is uh, go, re-enable, and this one uh, changes direction. So let's turn it off. Uh, Take off the LEDs from here and connect the driver. The driver is on right now. Let's go ahead and take another angle so that you can see everything moving. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. and see what happens. You can see the direction LED blinking on the driver. I'm going to stop it. As you can see, it also uh, turns on the cutoff. That means that all windings are off. I can manually move this and adjust it uh, to wherever I want. I'm going to hit go. The cutoff LED is now off, which means that it's re-enabled the driver, I mean the motor. I'm going to play around with the direction, manual direction change so that you can see what's going on. It's a little bit of 
bouncing the switch that I probably should program off. This is just for testing, this is not what I intend to use for the winder anyway, so I get so okay. Next step would be to add a uh, speed control. Uh, I need to learn how to use the the DAX on this uh, actually the ADCs on the uh, 18 meg 16 before I can do that so I need to run some tests for that. Thanks for watching.